We got another update video here for the 2023 BMW S1000 RR. And we actually did a little bit of coding here for the combi. Now, when I'm talking about the combi, I'm talking about the dash cluster right here. And what do we do? Well, we added the M splash screen, so the M startup screen, and the M tack. Let's check this out. Now when it starts up, you can see right there, that is the M splash screen. So that's the M startup screen, as opposed to the old startup screen, which I'll put up here on the screen now. And you can see the old startup screen looks completely different than the M. Also, what we've added here, 16,000 RPM rev limiter. Now, the rev limiter isn't actually functional, meaning the bike will actually go to 16,000. This is just what's seen here on the screen, meaning it'll go up to the 15,000 limiter like we have it set in the first place. It won't exceed it, but you'll see what we see here on the dash because the 16. Also, boom, right there, daytime running lights, add that as well. Now, people ask what daytime running lights are. It's the halos there, you see the halos right there? Now, when you start the bike up, the headlights turn on with the halos, whereas it's just um, with the ignition on, it's just the halos. So let me show you guys what that looks like too. So the bike will turn on and the halos will just stay on. Cold start there. And you can see right there, boom, headlights are off. The headlights, turn it off so I can talk headlights will actually remain off on this motorcycle until it gets dark enough and there's a sensor here where the, uh, the headlights are automatically turn on. You can also go in the combi here. When I say combi, it always refers to the, the TFT, the screen here. I can go in here. I can go to vehicle settings. I can go to lights right there. And you can see daytime running lights. Now that option is on and I have it selected. Now, uh, there aren't any drawbacks to doing the splash screen or anything like that other than the fact that the new 23 has like lines here in the red and it doesn't have the lines here in the red now for that which i don't care just a little difference but the splash screen here or sorry the startup screen stays on just like the 23 does so it doesn't put anything retroactively on here meaning so we got the sport screen here i'm gonna turn this off turn it back on and it'll still be on that sports screen, whereas the older models, that would not happen. That's a 2023 only option right there. So I'm pretty glad to see that that actually works. Now, if you guys are interested in something like this, we are not gonna be including it in the flash. It's not possible to do it through the flash. This has to be done through other means. If you guys wanna do something on this, or if you guys wanna learn how to do this, we will put a tutorial for the coding on how to do this or how to get this process done, along with even the K46 stuff, meaning the older S1000RR, and uh, the newer S1000RR stuff too. So we'll give you guys a tutorial and show you exactly guys what you need and where to find it and how to do all this on your motorcycle yourself. But only if we get a positive response to this video. If there's only one or two people saying, yeah, we'd love to see that, it's not worth the time putting in there. So if you guys wanna see it, please give us some feedback. Let us know that you'd love to see this. Also this bike, again, on ED5, loving how this thing on ED5, great, great response. Like the throttle is insane. Mid-range is crazier top end carries more power everything is awesome on 85 and plus you get that awesome smell the cheap 85 gas which is cheaper than pump gas with more power um you just get benefits on benefits now of course 85 does take 30 percent more fuel than regular pump gas so that means your tank's going to be a third less than it normally is but that has nothing to do with the performance of it. the performance is insane so that's an update from here probably the next one's going to be an oil pan uh, the new oil pan that we have, I have the billet one coming in, or at least a mock-up so you guys can see it. And I'll be installing that in the bike next. See you guys next time.